Finally, to other news that also made headlines in the country with Faisal Ahmed. The East Africa Portland Cement has announced an 18% narrow-down loss to 2.8 billion shillings in the year closing June 30th, 2020. The loss largely attributable gains on its investment on properties in the period whose valuation rose by 1.1 billion shillings during the year. The cement manufacturer also trimmed its administration and selling expenses to a flat 2.5 billion shillings on the back of a workforce restructuring which saw the board declare all jobs redundant in August 2019. The company expects further reductions in general expenses as it moves to complete its staff restructuring exercise. Elsewhere, Kansai Palscon has launched a 150 million shilling cashback program to offer customers relief during the COVID-19 pandemic. Dubbed Rangya Chapa, the campaign seeks to reward painters in an effort to hand them back funds through mobile money services across the country. Managing Director Jamal Vijay says that the industry was not spared by the impact of the pandemic, hence the campaign to aid their stakeholders. In terms of the value of the promotion, this is going to be one of the biggest uh, promotions ever done in the history of our company and probably in the paint industry. We've set aside a whopping 150 million shillings for this promotion. 150 million shillings. And this is what we want to ensure goes out into the overall uh, promotion. And a large part of this is going to end up in, in the pockets, in the households of our very valued and supportive customers across Kenya. In Homa Bay County, smallholder sugarcane farmers association have joined their counterparts in calling for the full implementation of the task force report. Addressing the media in Diwa, the association said that the report, if fully implemented, will change the fortunes of sugarcane farmers in the country. We are against it and we are supporting the SOGA 2020 regulations yes. and we want it to be implemented as early as yesterday. We want it implemented as quickly as possible. And anybody who is rejecting or, or having different view is going to meet the wrath of the sugarcane farmers in Kenya. <laughs> and finally, Standard Chartered Bank has partnered with the Kenya Community Development Foundation to support communities facing hardships due to the ravaging effects of the coronavirus. The partnership will cost 10 million shillings and will target women and youth in Nairobi, Mombasa and Kilifi counties. Affected households will also be offered food relief packages and cash transfers, as well as resilience invitations to help individuals improve their livelihoods. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.